Hello, Fenlanders. Smells like somebody's spreading chicken poop around here. <laughs> chicken turds. It absolutely stinks out there. Smells like Grumpy Granddad soiled himself a little bit. Mm. So, here we are, Fenlanders. We're, uh, Welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. I'm Daniel and I will be your local farmer today. Uh, welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're not new, hello everyone. Most of you know I've got some digging to do. So now we're up the field, I'll, uh, I'll spin the camera around and you can see what we're digging for. This is a really, really stupid thing. Um, a lot of you suffer with big old flints and stuff, but we don't suffer with them. No rock at all, as you can see behind me, look, there's no stone in the soil at all. Um, but I do have another problem. Let's have a look and see if we can find out what it is. Right. Let's go fishing. Woohoo! Oh, there's something. Something in there. Larissy Blues. That what snapped my tine, oh, there we go, stopped me dead. Snapped my tine yesterday, my uh, shear bolt yesterday on the, on the subsoiler, so. It's pretty big. I brought the bucket, uh, bucket? I brought the bucket with me today. Um, whatever it is, it's a fair size. I think it's a, present from Grumpy Grandad. Maybe he felled this when he was a nipper a hundred thousand years ago. Oh, there we go. Alright, I've got to come back a bit. Oh, dang. Oh, there's a shear bolt. Hey, let me stop and pick that up before metal detectorist finds it. Da 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 da. I don't know if it's going to make it, guys, but that was a shear bolt. That was my shear bolt yesterday. So, as uh, most of you know, I done a live yesterday and then broke a shear bolt in the midst of being live. So, Grumpy Grandad's just sailing up and down nice and steady. I told him to go slow, so that thing keeps pinging off. Keep breaking. I've only got one more shear bolt for it as well till tomorrow. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful with what I. Uh... Oh, there's something. I gotta be careful with that machine because I broke the foot off it yesterday. Yeah. The uh, the frog, as we call them. What do you lot call them? Obviously, you got your wings on your. You got your tine. You got your tine and your wings and stuff for your subsoil all on the frog at the bottom of the leg. So it doesn't bust the leg when you doesn't bust the whole leg off when you uh, hit hit something. God, this this field is terrible. Too. And it's still, I mean, it's massive. Um, whatever we're digging up here, it's still going. So, and the loader, this this loader can't move it. So. Same as what I've got over on the other field, uh, over the other side of the field where Grumpster is now. I told him to be careful. Let's see if that's the end of it. Oh, no, it's still going. Bloody hell, it's massive. Mm, here we go. It ain't coming out of the ground. Not yet. Shut up, you. Just gotta keep digging. Hey! You don't see the ground moving. Oh, look at that, look. You see all the ground moving across there? There we go. Larishy Blues. 
Here's a bit of it. One little lump of it. Oh no, it's still going. That is a two or three thousand year old bit of wood. Uh, anyone does any carbon data or anything, feel free to come down and take a little chunk and uh, see what we got. But there's more of it over, over there, and I think there's more of it here. You always got to have a good wriggle around and a good fish around. Uh, to, to get it all out, you know, so uh, yeah. There we go, Fenlanders. This is why it's uh, marshland, really. Oh, oh, uh, come on, I can do better than that. Picking it up in one inch. There's one bit of it. So that's that done. Let's see if we can find the other bit of it. Uh, you're not supposed to burn that, but it does burn really well. Right, mean business now, Fenlanders. I still can't find the end of it here, so uh, it's gonna have to be two buckets out of there, I think. But this will give you some idea how peaty my soil is. And how lovely and rich. Oh, there it is. Ugh. So the last thing we want to do is make a hole in the field, but I've got no other choice really. Uh, I still think there's a chunk of it down here somewhere, so we'll dig this out. We can always backfill, can't we? Oh, there's a bit. Ugh. Good old JCB. <laughs> Feel like an excavator driver now on a telehandler. Right, so we'll have another little fish. Oh, it looks like I've got a leaf again on the front there, so I've got that to sort out. Right, fished a bit of it out. There's still more in there, I do believe. So let's have a look and see what we can find. I must be able to find the end of it now, and, uh, and, and now I've got all that weight off it. I should be able to pull it out of the ground, I hope. There it is. Oh, look at that, look. You not see that? Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Me so happy. Oh yeah. Wonder how far it go. Oh, that's a big bit of wood. The loader won't even pick it up. No wonder it went to pull it out of the ground. Hoorah. That's uh, still going. <laughs> Look at that, look. So I'm well happy with that. Well happy. Jesus, that's a big bit of wood. That's heavy as well. That's proper. Look at the size of that. <laughs> no wonder that stopped me. Stupid. Bit of wood. Right, you know the drill, Fenlanders. I'm gonna have a fish around in there for another little bit and uh, a few bits of pieces and stuff to see if there's any more in there, but yeah, look at the size of that. Where's my dog when I need it? Should pull that home. Right, we're gonna have a little rummage around on the end of it and make sure it's all gone and uh, go from there. Grumpy Granddad can come over here and carry on. This is a field that last year we had a big old tree root come out. Oh dear, no, hang on, I ain't done yet. <clears throat> Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. There's another bit. There was another bit in there. Look at the size of that puppy. That is some kind of bit of tree root by the looks of that. It's oozing water out of it. It's absolutely gushing out of it. Down that corner there, if you can see. I don't know whether you can, but... There, I'll go and show you. That's worth that's worth two seconds to have a look. Shows you just how far our water table is down there, look. 
It's soaked with water. Oh no, it's rolled over. Bollocks. I mean, whoops. <laughs> yeah, look how much water. Let's go and have a quick butcher's at it. There's tons of water falling out of that. That doesn't smell so good. That, I would imagine, is what we call pure carbon. Smell it? I can't leave it in the soil, so I've got to dig it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> can't do a lot about it. Look at the mess I'm making in my field, trying to, uh, trying to dig it out. I mean, it's all good fun. I just wish I didn't have to do it. Um, you can't have everything, so we'll just have a little fish around in there quickly. One more time and make sure we've got it all. Make sure it's not another branch of it somewhere else. But I mean, it would appear to be a bit weird if it was just one tree there a hundred thousand years ago or whatever, you know, or 50,000 years ago or whatever it was. Yeah, we're all good there. Right, I will. Got my forks off and put the bucket on and have a little mop up and then grumpy granddad can come back over here with his um oops there we go with his uh, subsoiler and have a little fish around uh i'd rather find it with this if i can but uh he's gonna have to have a little uh oh right, let's just level this field out a bit more Ugh. Then we'll go and get rid of all the bits. Should have bought a trailer with me, really, shouldn't I? A trailer would have been a good idea. Uh, and then I can just dump it all in a trailer. Yeah. He can come and have a little level around and uh, fish around and make sure I haven't missed any bits. Uh, he obviously hasn't found any recently, so we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. I'll um, just get this leveled out a bit. I mean, we've got to come through again with the uh, terra disc or something to flatten this tater field down. So we'll figure something out. I'll uh, terra disc over the top of it and any more bits that I find. There's another couple of bits there. Look. Before I bury them under. I'll go and get them out. Cheers guys. So we are on to bog oak number two that I fished out of the ground yesterday. And Grammy Granddad's made my life a bit more difficult. Oh yeah, there you go. Flourishy blues! By um trying to rip it out with a subsoiler, which is not the tool for the job. There we go. Uh, and it's just it's splintered it everywhere, you know. So not really, uh, not really the result I was hoping for. But we should be able to get the rest out now with the said forks. Let's drop that off. Ah, oh, we do really like a bit of fishing. Look at the size of that. That's still a big bit of wood. Big enough to be a dick. back on. Hmm. Wonder how bored he's getting in there already. I uh, I was on it the other day, obviously, yesterday and the day before, and by the time you finish Man Alive, you are well bored. Doing 8K, three, three meters wide. It gets tedious really tedious. Oh. Hey, I think there's still some more of it down under here somewhere. Oh, there's a bit. 
That's the biggest problem I've got now is in so many bits, you know, it's going to take me 10 minutes to clear all the dig it out and then two days to clear all the bits out. There's loads of bits splintered off everywhere. So let's have another little dig a bit further back. Let me get that big bit out first before that breaks off into two more bits. Amazing how quickly it dries out. Stupid bits of wood in the field. Amazing, the bits of it that have been sticking out of the ground since yesterday afternoon have dried right out. Hello, Fernandez. Uh, I've just about had enough for today. Uh, I managed to bend one of my times on my loader, but I've got some more, so they were pretty shocking when we got it, so. Yeah, it's now got a little twinge in it where I've been trying to dig up some bits of wood out of the field. So, Rummy Granddad's still out there. Oh, hang on. I don't know if you can see me. How does that spin around? Still getting used to my. Uh... There it is. Still getting used to my uh, new um, bone mound, really. But yeah, big old bits of wood. Um, I'm going to go park the trailer up at the side of the field now and go home and have a tea and if Grumpy Granddad wants to stop with me then he can do. So I'll go and have me din dins, me din dins, me dinner and uh, yeah hopefully uh, hopefully we don't find any more bits of wood I'm going to leave the trailer. Not well, fair or even wood in the trailer boy. Um, yeah it's been a productive little day we're not really getting anywhere doing anything. Every time we, um, I'm like, yeah, I'll go back to the farm and do something. Rumps the twinges another bit of wood, doesn't he? So, oh, try third gear. Uh, it looks like it's brewing up the rain. I don't know whether it is going to rain or not. But it don't look very good out there. That does not look like a good sky. So we'll see if we get any rain or not. I don't know whether it's. I mean, it's a. It has a uh, ominous look about it, <laughs> but the, my phone's saying no, like one mil of rain maybe, so like just enough to stop it being dusty. Uh, I just seen on the spray page that uh, get another spray is stuck down like my cousin Martin was the other day, like everybody else is around the country. Uh, poor old boy, he looked like he was well beached. Um, tried to go round the puddle and then straight into a whole world of hurt. So, doesn't seem as though it's getting any better for everyone, does it? Uh, and like I said in the previous video, you know, or like Elra earlier on, we, um, we can't, um, can't make it stop raining and you've got to try and keep your crops alive. If you can make a mess and keep everything alive, you've saved 90% of the field or 99% of the field, you've just got that one weed in that you've got to deal with. Um, and you nearly as well, uh, I think nearly as well sometimes to just go and power hour it flat again once it does dry out. But all of my soil and stuff has gone like concrete. You know, it's gone rock hard. It'll probably need busting in the summertime when we start thinking about drilling, autumn tillage and stuff. So I'm going to uh, be the last uh, film I make today, I think little bit of filming so I um, hope you appreciate everything we do for you and um, I will see you on the next one. Cheers Fernandez. <laughs>